Hey everyone, it's Riley and I'm back with another custom bullet journal flip through. So as you likely know, I sell custom bullet journals over on Etsy. So every customer gets to choose how many months they want in their journal, how many doodles they want everywhere, what different themes, what different spreads they want and all of that. So if you want to know more about my custom journals, feel free to check out my Etsy shop that's linked below. So today's bullet journal is going out to Jacqueline. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for ordering and let me be part of your bullet journal journey. And Jacqueline chose to have a nine month full doodle journal. I had a lot of fun with this journal because while Jacqueline did give me some direction with certain themes and certain colors and stuff like that, there was also a lot of freedom for me to just interpret things in my own way. So I always have fun doing that. So as we go through this journal, don't forget to let me know in the comments which monthly theme is your favorite. I I really like a lot of the themes but I think today I'm gonna to try to narrow it down to just one and if I have to choose one it's got to be May. May is a cute little yellow theme and you guys probably know yellow is my favorite color even though I don't use it tons in my own bullet journal it has like always been like my lifelong just happy color so May is my favorite but I would love to hear from you guys which one is your favorite. So here's the journal that we're flipping through today again it's one of the artist left ones that I use for pretty much all of my custom bullet journals. So I started off with the yearly spreads here and just sort of chose two colors and went with it. So she's got a little quote over here that I used in my own bullet journal and then a little title. And again, I used the white Mr. Pen gel pen to write over top of this blue marker and it just pops so, so well. Then we've got a future log for all of 2021, even though this journal only spans um, the last nine months from April to December, I still included the entire thing in the future log. And then a monthly highlight section. So this part only spans the nine months that this journal covers. Um, so yeah, I just left a little spot for each month where she can draw some little doodles or write down some quotes or funny memories or whatever happens in those months. So this page is one that will look new to you because I honestly just kind of came up with it on the fly. She asked for a bunch of different things on this health and fitness page so I tried to combine them together as best as I could. So what we've got over here is a health tracker just like the one that I used in my 2021 setup. So if you want to know how I used it, you can check out my video which I will link above. Um, but it's combined with a fitness or workouts tracker. So she wanted a place to mark down what kinds of workouts she does for the entire year. So basically how it works is there's a health key for this side and a fitness key for this side. So on the health key, she can use different colors to represent like a headache or maybe her period or if she wants to mark down when she uses certain medication, she can include all of those things in the health key. And then every day that that happens, she can color in the square. Then for the fitness key, she can use different things like, for example, red is for yoga and blue is for cardio or whatever she wants to do. And then on this side, she can color the squares with those colors and she'll have a record of every single kind of workout that she did for the whole year. So these two things work together. Then she also wanted a place to write down her fitness accomplishments. So I just left a square at the top here. And finally, a weight tracker as well. So each month is down here and I'm gonna let her put in um, the different amounts of weight that she wants along the bottom so that she can track her progress. Then she has a goals page, so a spot for personal goals and action steps, professional goals, other goals, and of course action steps for all of those. And then her last yearly spread is just a page of things to check out. I left a blank page before getting into the first month, which is April. So I actually set this one up in a different video, which I will link above in case you want to watch the process. But this is a theme that I got from Steph over on Instagram. She gave me this idea and I've used it once before, decided to try it again. Um, and I really like it for just a spring theme. So we've got her calendar here and then the first weekly spread. After each month, she wanted a double page blank for herself. And then we get into the next one. And here's May. I told you I love this one um, because like I said, yellow is my favorite color, but I have a hard time finding opportunities to use it in my bullet journal. But I'm really happy with how this one came out, kind of combined a little like um, pegboard kind of thing with Polaroid, with sunflowers, a bunch of different elements came together for this one. So for each month, she's got her title page and then here she has a water tracker. So all the dates are along here and then the number of cups she drinks along the bottom, a spot to track a few habits, 
a big monthly calendar, and then a spot to write down expenses. So the item, the amount that it costs, and the date that she purchased it. Then we get into the weekly spreads. So she cycled between three different um, weekly spread styles. So this is the second one where the days of the week are in these big tall boxes along the bottom. Then she's got a sleep tracker along with the title and a spot for personal tasks and work tasks. The next month is June and she asked for a roller skating theme for June using yellow and turquoise and I was thrown. I didn't really know what to do, um, but I decided to just draw this big retro looking roller skate and I hope she likes it. I like how it turned out. Again, I used a bunch of white gel pen just to kind of dress it up a little. And this is the third style of weekly that she has. So just each page is split into four boxes, a title and a sleep tracker in the top, and then personal tasks and work tasks in the bottom. Then we get into July and I really like July and apparently you guys did too. I shared this over on my Instagram story and got so many messages about it. Um, but this doodle, honestly, it may look a bit tough just because it's like a living creature, but it really was not. It was so, so simple. So I'm glad that I learned how to do it because I would love to do it again in the future. So this weekly style is the same one as I used in the first month of April and so all the days of the week are on the middle here and then she's got her personal tasks, work tasks, and a sleep tracker as well. And this is a full doodle journal so you'll see little doodles on every single page. So for August I got a new set of washi tapes from my sister-in-law and I had not tried them yet in my own bullet journal so I decided to try them out in hers and I just made some paint brushes to look as though she's painting these washies on. So this month is really just a blue and pink floral theme where the washi tape are the decorations on each of the weekly pages. Then we get to September and September is definitely another favorite of mine in this journal. I just made a cute little like mug or teacup and added some flowers. And it was so simple, but I really like it. I like the color palette too. And these weeklies are my favorite weeklies in the entire journal. Not sure why, they just are. Then we have October and October is another one that you guys really liked on Instagram. So I made a little like postage stamp um, with roses on it. So to do this, I used a brown piece of craft paper as you can see. And then I used my new paint pens from Mr. Pen to draw these roses on top of it. And they were super nice and opaque. So it worked out really well. You can see I've been doing more of that stacked calligraphy and using my blending brush. Then November, she asked for a floral print. So I did a totally different floral print than the ones that I normally do. And here are the weekly pages. For December, she asked for a snowflake theme, so I put some snowflakes into this little light bulb. And this banner, I just really love it for some reason. I think it turned out so nice. So I decided to use more banners on the weekly pages as well. So I alternated on the weekly pages. Um, every other one has a banner with some little light bulbs hanging from the top. And then the opposite ones have some washi tape with some little snowflakes. So that's the entire journal, all nine months of it. So let me know in the comments which monthly theme was your favorite. Thank you all so much for joining me for another custom bullet journal flip through. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which monthly theme is your favorite. Subscribe to my channel so I can see you in the next video.